My gun was handcrafted to my specifications. I rarely draw it unless I mean to use it. Have gun. Will travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875. The Carlton Hotel. Headquarters of a man called Paladin. Over here, hey boy. Oh, I did not know you'd be standing at bar. Hey, boy, think you'll be sitting at table with young lady. The young lady hasn't arrived. Very good. Uh, a uh, gentleman wishes to speak with you on a matter of urgent business. Hey, boy, I don't want to discuss any business tonight. My plans have been made for this evening, and they do any business discussion. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, but uh, uh, since the young lady not yet arrived, perhaps you can spend a few moments with the gentleman? He give hey, boy, a very big kiss. <laughs> You're a conniver, hey, boy. Conniver? Never mind. Tell him to come over. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Paladin. Mr. Paladin. Yes? The Chinese boy said you've seen me. My name is Thomas McElrath. How do you do, Mr. McElrath? Uh, why don't we sit at the table over there? Oh, of course. Yeah, this is all right for you? Yes, well, thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I've heard a great deal about you, Mr. Paladin. How you travel all over the... Oh, excuse me, Mr. McElrath, but since I have a previous engagement, perhaps you'd better get right to the point. Oh, of course. Uh, I'm the vice president of Pacific Savings Bank. My mm -hmm. company wishes to hire you to guard a special shipment of gold to Los Angeles. How much gold? Well, I cannot disclose the amount until you've consented to accept the job. Oh, I understand. Well, how are you sending it? By stage to the Berry and Wellman Bank in Los Angeles. Uh, what with the wildcat speculation in Tom Truck Silver, the banks in Los Angeles have been affected drastically. So Mr. Berry has asked Mr. Hudson, the president of our bank, for a loan. And since Mr. Hudson is a very good friend of Mr. Wellman, who is in Europe at the present time, he has decided to make the loan to Mr. Berry as, uh, well, more of a gesture to Mr. Wellman than anything else, so that the bank may endure the panic. Uh, do I make myself clear? Well, I, uh, I understand that you're sending the money by stage, and you want me to go along to see that it gets to Mr. Berry safely. Uh, hmm? Precisely. Uh, would it be worth $500 for you? Well, it sounds like a reasonable figure. When does the stage leave? Tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. All right, Mr. McElrath, I accept your offer. I'll meet you at the stage office tomorrow morning. I, I must warn you, Mr. Paladin, the shipment will consist of $50,000 in gold. That's a lot of money. And it could be a very dangerous trip. They all are, Mr. McElrath. Oh? And are they exciting, Mr. Paladin? Uh, not as exciting as spending an evening in San Francisco with an exotic young lady. Oh, if you'll excuse me, she just walked in. Everywhere you go, across the country trip or across the street party, you carry the fun with you when you own a Columbia Stereophonic High Fidelity Phonograph. There's a marvelous selection of seven new portable models in smart new color combinations at your Columbia Phonograph dealer from which you may choose. Each one is a masterpiece of design and beauty. More quality, more features, and more styling have been built into these sturdy portables than ever before. How much fun you'll have enjoying all the wonderful new sound of stereo records. Regular records take on new beauty, too, when played on handsome Columbia portables. You'll be amazed at the big console sound that is reproduced by Columbia portable stereophonic high-fidelity phonographs. You'll thrill to the excitement of Stereo One by Columbia, number one in the wonderful world of sound. And Columbia portables are economical, too. Prices start as low as $24.95. See them and hear them at your Columbia phonograph dealer. The next morning, Mr. McElrath met me at the stage office. He told me there had recently been many stage robberies in Southern California, but the banditos under Cleovaro Martinez. The bank's plan in this all-important shipment of $50,000 was to put the money in a valise and hide it among the suitcases. The stage would go unguarded except for myself, posing as an unaware passenger, hoping that if we were stopped, Martinez would not notice the hidden valise. 
Traveling with me on the stage was a young lady named Laura Berry, who I learned was the daughter of the man I was to meet in Los Angeles. Do you think we'll ever get there, Mr. Tower? Yeah, it won't be too long now. We'll be in San Fernando in another hour. Oh, I'm sorry. I do hope the driver stops there long enough for some breakfast. I think we can persuade him to do that. Won't Father be surprised? <laughs> yes. I'm sure he'll be pleased to have you home again. Oh, he'll be furious at first. I can hear him now. He thinks that his daughter would leave college and come home on the stage alone, <laughs> all the way from San Francisco. Yeah. He won't be convinced when I tell him I was perfectly safe and there was a very nice gentleman traveling with me. I haven't mentioned this to you, Miss Berry, but I have some business with your father, and I'll be seeing him when he arrives. Wonderful. Then will you assure him that everything was all right? Why, of course I will. <laughs> Besides, he really needs me. When he wrote how much trouble he was having at the bank and how difficult it was to keep the doors open, well, I just couldn't sit up there and spend his money for school expenses. He'll need that money. And he needs me to keep house for him and see that he gets three good meals a day. You're a very considerate daughter. I hope he thinks so. What? What's that? A uh, gunshot. Looks like we're going to have some trouble. What do you mean? There's some men riding toward us. Can you see them? Yes. Well, what do they do? They're stopping the stage. Maybe Martinez. Martinez, the outlaw? Yes. I've heard of you. Well, they made sugar. Now, you try to be calm. Well, is there anything you can do to stop them? Against Martinez and his banditos? Not without endangering our lives, Mr. Barry. You! Inside the coach! Come on! You do exactly as they say. Mr. Paladin. Mm -hmm. Senorita, outside. I need me today. Here. I'll give you a hand. Ay, caballero, help the pretty senorita. Bueno, está bien. Walk over there. There, in front of the horses. Come on. No! Now keep your hands above your head. The men like to pull the trigger. Driver! Get the gold and throw it to the ground. We don't have any gold at present. Now don't play games with Martinez. I tell you, we're not carrying any gold. Senor, it is in the valise among the baggages. I don't know what you're talking about. Martinez doesn't have much patience today, senor driver. <laughs> he, he the Keep quiet. Hey, senor. Uh, you. Yes? You get the gold for Martinez. All right. And now you come down and stand by the senorita again. I didn't know we were carrying gold. I was supposed to deliver that money to your father's bank. Oh, no. Well, listen, there's some way we can stop them. The only thing we can do now is to keep quiet. We will take the horses from your stage. You will have no use for them since you'll be walking the rest of your trip. Start walking! El pueblo de San Fernando está a diez millas del otro lado de aquella loca. What did he say? The San Fernando is over that hill. Ten miles away. Do you mean we'll have to walk ten miles? It looks that way, Miss Berry. <laughs> Winston tastes good like a cigarette should because... There's no turpentine up front, up front ahead of the filters. 
And the better you get in a Winston cigarette comes from Phil to Glenn. Phil to Glenn means fine tobacco. Phil to Glenn up front. And the better you get in a Winston cigarette comes from Phil to Glenn. Filter Blend is a mighty good reason for you to smoke Winston. Because it means tobacco specially processed for filter smoking. A Winston secret. You get Winston's own pure white modern filter, plus the rich, delightful flavor of fine tobacco. There's filter blend up front, up front ahead of the filter, and the fun you get in a Winston cigarette comes from filter blend. And makes Winston taste good like a cigarette should. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Every precaution had been taken, but somehow Martinez had known that our stage was carrying the gold shipment. I had failed to stop him. My job would not be complete until I had retrieved the gold and delivered it to Mr. Barry's bank in Los Angeles. Meanwhile, we trudged the rough surface wagon trail through the parched and desolate San Fernando Pass. Mr. Paladin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop and rest again. Oh, no, uh, that's all right, Miss Barry. You go. How much further do we have to go? Oh, I'd say another five miles. Oh. Oh. Mr. Paladin, look. What? Uh. Coming around the bend by that rock. Ah. Uh. The wagon. Thank heaven. Maybe he'll take us into San Fernando. Oh, well, depends on who he is. Well, if we gave him enough money. We'll see. Oh! Hello. What are you folks doing walking about this part of the country? We were on this stage from San Francisco. Martinez held us up, killed the driver, took the horses. Well, if it was Martinez, you're lucky to be alive. Now, we need a ride into town, mister. How much would you charge to turn around and take us back? Well, sir, I, I hadn't figured on going back. I, I've got to get on into Bakersfield. I'd be glad to make it worth your time. Well, I... Oh, you don't know how grateful we'd be. Well, I can understand that, ma'am. Well, you people look plum tuckered out. Oh, come on. Get up in here in the back. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on. Oh, I can't believe we won't be walking anymore. Oh. Here, let me help you out. Uh, here you go. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well... You folks ready? All set. I'll take you on into San Fernando and you can rent some horses there. Tell the sheriff what happened. Yeah, I'll be fine. Here I am. Here. Here. Oh, my father will never forgive me for not telling him I was coming home. Where do you live? Oh, we have a ranch west of town about two miles below Coenga Pass. The bank will be closed for the day by the time we get there. Your father will probably be at home. He'll be furious with me. I'm disappointed about the gold shipment. Yes. So, might as well settle back. It'll be quite a while before we get to your father's ranch. Martinez. Oh, Senor Bailey. What are you doing sprawled out in my front room? Oh, waiting for you to come home from the bank. You grow very fine grapes, senor. I suppose someone rode by and stopped in to see me. Now, you agreed to stay in the barn. Oh, the barn is very uncomfortable, senor Barry. My man warns me if strangers approaches your house. Did you get the money? <laughs> you think Martinez would be here without the gold? Look. You're a rascal, Martinez. I knew I could depend on you. Tell me, was there any trouble? <laughs> like taking milk from the kitty cat. Yeah, I'll keep my promise. Half of this is yours. Uh, I have already kept your promise. Half of the gold is with my men in Soledad Canyon, along with the horses we took from the stage. You have only one man with you. I see. They only look for Martinez, not my men. 
And you two better get busy and make yourselves comfortable in the barn. You can hide out here for months, just as we agreed, but you can't be loafing around inside my house. What? Two riders come to the house. And see, what did I tell you? Jose, go to the barn. Stay there. Si. Martinez, take the money into that first bedroom down the hall. You can hide in there for the time being. Constipation is something people don't talk much about, but it can be a problem for anyone, even doctors. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Now, a majority of the doctors we heard from had this to say. A laxative should be effective, gentle, as close to natural acting as possible, and a medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Well, pleasant-tasting chocolated x lax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. x lax is gentle. Next morning, it gives you the closest thing to natural action. And that's why many doctors and millions of people use x lax with complete confidence. x lax the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity gently, overnight. Is x lax in your medicine cabinet? Laura and I rented two horses in San Fernando and rode on to her father's ranch. The closer we got, the faster we rode. I was caught up in Laura's anxiety to see her father and looked forward to a home-cooked meal and a good night's rest. Mr. Barry greeted us at the front door. He was at once surprised, pleased, and angry. We sat down in a parlor, and I thought at the time that he was edgy, justifiably so as we discussed what had happened earlier in the day. And uh, you say the Pacific Savings Bank hired you to go along with that shipment? That's right. Well, now, they didn't tell me about that. I'll have to contact the sheriff tomorrow morning. I'll need his help to chase down Martinez and get that gold back to you, Mr. Barry. Yes, yes, of course. Now, Laura, you have to go back to school. I'm going to see that you're on the stage tomorrow morning. Father, I won't let you do that. You need me here. Why, we can't afford to spend any more money for school until the bank gets through this crisis. You let me worry about the bank and our financial trouble. You'll do what I say. Well, I'm not going to argue with you any more tonight, Father. I'm too tired. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to change and confess. Uh, Laura. Yes, Father. Never mind. Stubborn as a mule. Her mother was the same way, traveling down here from San Francisco all alone. You seem uneasy, Mr. Barry. Well, why shouldn't I be? A daughter like that... What? That's Laura. <laughs> Martinez. Oh, we meet again, senor. You... Laura. Don't put it on. The ball would hit the senorita first. You let her go. Who, who is this man, Paladin? Martinez. How did he get in here? Your face has lost its blood, senor Barry. You think you see a ghost? Turn my daughter loose, Martinez. Why? It could not mean very much to you if you let her ride the stage. I rob for you. Keep your mouth shut. But I make a bargain with you. I turn her loose if you give me your half of the gold. You let her go. Ow! You stay back, Laura. Barry. Did, did you kill him? Yes. Paladin. Half the gold is in this room. Tell the sheriff the other half is in Soledad Canyon with Martinez meant. There's one man not back in the barn. Trying to make Laura understand. I, I'm sorry. father had lived, the 
suffering would have been much worse than it will be now. Smooth seal? Why no? Why no? Is it new? What's it do? Well, this is off the record. Just between us boys, your automatic transmission, does it ever make a noise? You mean a little kind of grinding? Does that little chatter matter? I hear a very weird whir sometimes. It doesn't sound good, boys, but let's be sure. When you're sitting at the light and it goes to green, you put your foot down hard. Have you ever felt a sort of a jerk, a kind of a jar, or haven't helped you a real thud bump? Oh, I've felt uh, it. Oh, me too. I've had it, stranger. What do we do? Well, don't buy a horse and don't trade your car. Just get yourself a new case side smooth seal. New case side smooth seal? New K-Side Smooth Seal. New K-Side Smooth Seal. How will that help? Why, it's made to soften those shrunken seals, which are apt to leak when there's power on the wheels. It stops those thud bumps, jerks, and jars that are apt to creep into these modern cars. Why, this K-Side Smooth Seal in one application can pack them all off on a long vacation. And it's less than $2 at your service station. A little new K-Side Smooth Seal, boy? Come on. I'll go. And if it doesn't work, you get double your money back. Gun Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Parrish and stars John Daner as Paladin, with Ben Wright as Hayboy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun Will Travel by Mr. Parrish. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Don Diamond, Jack Edwards, Joe Cranston, and Eleanor Berry. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel.